Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to talk about Everything Everything. This video contains major spoilers for the movie Everything Everything. So I did see Everything Everything, and it was an excellent film, a really, really interesting film. Uh, it's about a girl who has uh, SCID, it's extreme allergies. Uh, so if you remember the bubble boy from previously, uh, she was like the bubble girl. She could not go outside of her house because of her allergies, which is uh, so strong that it keeps her inside. <laughs> Ironic, my allergies are kicking up today. Uh, so with that, <laughs> excuse me, um, the girl's name is Maddie, and uh, she gets involved with the boy who lives next door, and she can see his room fire from her... Ah. Oh, excuse me. She could see his his room from her room, right? And um, so Maddie Maddie begins uh, texting with Ali, and that's handled real well in the film. And so you know, there's this tension where can they be together? Can they not be together? Because she can't go outside. Her entire life is is indoors, right? So she she gets this situation where um, now her mother is her doctor, and excuse me. Whew. Yeah, my allergies are really kicking up today quite a bit. So, um, Maddie's father and brother, they they tell us in the film that she died. They died very early. And um, this is a very sad part of the film. And all she has left is her mother. So, Ma Maddie is really a very sad case, right? Now, they only tell you this about a third in. And what was a little disappointing to me was there was no father, right? So, I just assumed, like... They don't even bother explaining in movies why there aren't two loving parents in a family anymore. So I just assumed, oh, divorce, you know, because movies don't even, usually don't take the time to explain that anymore. It's just kind of like, you know, uh, it's there, right? So, uh, but they tell us that the father died. So the movie goes on and it's, you think the film is about how, you know, Maddie is trying to have a relationship with Ali, even though Ali is outside of her life literally outside of her home and can't, um, you know, can't engage with, with her. So what ends up happening is, um, they, uh, Maddie just decides to leave, to leave, you know, say, I don't care. Even if I die, I need to spend a day with Ollie. She, uh, gets credit cards online and she is of the age. She is of age. So she's 18 years old, which I thought was a really I, I'm really curious. I don't know where this came from, where this movie came from. I'm positive it came from a book. I know there's no way this was a script, right? So I, I have not looked up any information, but I don't need to. I absolutely know this came from a book. And the reason why is it has a cohesive story, right? And uh, it, it also saddens me that cohesive story is now like a really big, important thing in a movie. You, you would think it'd be like good lighting, it would be a given, but it really, you can't take cohesive story for granted anymore. So it has a cohesive story that you could follow as a, as a viewer, right? Which is really nice and a shockingly a break. Um, so you're watching and uh, she goes with Ollie to Hawaii. They have a great day together. They go swimming in the ocean. Uh, you know, they, they spend time together. They kiss the whole nine, right? So they have a romantic situation. She then goes into an allergic fit and then she is taken back home to the USA where she's now back with her mom in the house, right? And at this point, uh, you know, Maddie realizes, okay, I can't have a relationship with Ollie. I've got to end it. So she does. She, uh, she tells Ollie, that's it. I'm done. Ollie has his own problems. His father is a drunk and his mother's been with his father for many, many years. And Ollie has a sister, and they all, like Ollie, Ollie's mom, and Ollie's sister, all go to New York without his dad. And he goes and he tells her, Hey, I'm leaving because, you know, you won't do anything, you won't deal with me anymore. Our relationship is over. You're making that clear, so I'm leaving, right? Well, she gets really upset, and then, you know, but she stays at her home, and then she gets a call from one of the doctors that was in, um, from one of the doctors that was in Hawaii. And the doctor says, and here's the spoiler, says, hey, you know, you had this, you had some kind of, some kind of seizure and you should be fine now. And she says, well, you know, and Maddie says, well, I have SCCID and, 
you know, it's a major disorder and I'm not going to be okay. And they said, no, no, you don't, you don't have that. Right. And then at this point it becomes obvious that the mother was telling her she was sick when she wasn't and keeping her in the house because her father and her brother had died when she was very, very young and her mother's desire to protect her kept her from the outside world all this time. And then the entire movie shifts into just a little bit, a 10 or 15 minute section where Maddie has to realize that her mother has been the villain in her story all along. And then she goes to New York and meets up with Ollie. And, and that's the end of the film. It was a really cool twist ending. I absolutely did not see it coming. And it was the great kind of twist ending where when you when the twist kicks, you're like, oh, they gave me the signal back then and I should have known now. And so it was really, really a uh, very, very interesting movie. I very much enjoyed it. And uh, it's a very interesting film. You should take a look. And that's uh, that's the major spoilers for uh, Everything, Everything. Take care, everybody.